Hi, we are here with... Rico Anderson. And what does Rico Anderson do? Uh, I am an actor in Star Trek Renegades. Uh, also going to be on Oroville this fall on Fox. Um, Fifth Passenger, all sorts of different various sci-fi sci shows. Yeah, Ryan was just talking about that. Yeah, yeah. So what is Oroville? Well, Oroville is a sci-fi series by Seth MacFarlane, um, who, you know, is creator, family guy. Yeah. Um, he's done kind of a Galaxy Quest type, I think. And um, so it's kind of like Star Trek, but with, you know, the serious issues also. But um, it's live action, and it actually stars him, so. I was surprised when, uh, he, uh, when I heard about that, because he was trying for years to get to reboot for Next Generation for TV. Seth MacFarlane was? Yeah. Well, that's... maybe this is his, well, like when you watch Orville, it's, it's very similar to, it has like the Next Generation feel and look to it. But it has a lot of the original series, like you know, flair of it. So yeah, because he, he really, he really wanted to do that as a reboot for TV when yeah. they rebooted classic, mm -hmm. and they wouldn't let him because they had their own ideas. Exactly. So he created his own thing. And this could be his, yeah, his, a lot of his ideas he had he'd thrown to the, the network, saying, "Hey, this is what I have planned for Picard and his crew." Right, right. <laughs> well, when you watch the trailer, it's very, it's you, you see those elements, and and I, I think he's he's. I, well, I know for a fact, just working with him, he's, he's very excited about this. Is he uh, doing any of the uh, Family Guy stuff in it? Of course. That's what I was just wondering, because that yeah. might turn off a lot of the people expecting to see sci-fi, and they well, see Family Guy. Well, no, it's very sci-fi, but it's also very Seth MacFarlane-ish, you know, in, that, in yeah. that comedy sense. So, there's going to be a lot of that in it. So, I mean, it almost wouldn't be a Seth MacFarlane project without it. Like, uh, how many ways you can die in the Old West? Exactly. Exactly. So, so who are the I think people are going to enjoy. Is part of this project. I'm sorry. Which other actors are a part of this project? Uh, you have uh, Adrian uh, Paliki, um, who was in Agents of Shield. Um, let me see. Wow, a whole bunch of uh, Penny Johnson Gerald, who was in uh, Deep Space Nine. She's in it. Um, the episode that I'm in is with Chad Coleman, who was who played Tyrese in The Walking Dead as well. So, chock full of people, well-known people, and, and you know from different sci-fi franchises and whatnot. So. so are you, are you a semi-regular on the show or just a one-shot? So far I'm just in one episode, but I'm part of an alien race that definitely does have a continued storyline. So we're, we're called the Mocklin. So we're are they like equivalent the to Klingons? Klingons? That's what I was wondering. They're, they're kind of Klingon-ish. Yeah. Not like the Rockheads from Voyager? The what? The, the Rockhead hair guys? Uh, we're a little bit more good looking. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're a lot more handsomer. I know when you talk about it. We have freckles. <laughs> so. They're Irish. <laughs> they're yeah, gingers. Yeah, yeah. Right, 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 right. No more ginger. So, yeah, nothing against gingers. You guys so. have the ginger disease. It's it, like in South Park. Well, we have a lot of freckles. I'll just say that. Yeah. It's gingivitis. Gingivitis. <laughs> but up. Uh, You're here until Thursday. But, so. so, how does the show look overall? With it the looks, ship and stuff. It looks great. It's it looks fun. It looks very next generation ish. Um, ish. Next generation ish. It's the love boat in space, huh? You might say so. Yeah, it was yeah. called that a lot of times because it's so nice of a ship. It's like this ain't a battleship or a federation ship. This right. is a love boat. Right, right, right. They got right. carpet on the ground. <laughs> It's fun. It's going yes. to be fun. I think it's going to be a fun ride just because of the fact that it is Seth MacFarlane, and you expect that level of humor. Is he going to have a lot of uh, sci-fi guest appearances as well from oh, other yeah. projects? I mean, think about it. He's a huge Trek fan. He's a huge Next Generation fan. I know he so. uses a lot of cartoon fans because he uses a lot of, tries to get voice actors for the characters that they right. did in the original cartoons, like mm -hmm. Lionel is voiced by Lionel. Right, right, right. Megatron is voiced by Megatron, and Octus Prime, he even got him to do his voice. Yeah. He'll probably get all those people again. I mean, look, he, he, as much as he loves Next Generation, he's probably going to make it his point of getting every single person from you know, the show. He might even do the, the closest you'll get to a Next Generation uh, reunion and have them all as an episode together. Even how cool would that be? Yes, I think he should do something where he even has you know whatever surviving cast members from like the original series. Oh yeah, how cool would that be? That would be cool. I mean, seriously, because it's like uh, Firefly with the Derek for Derek reunion cast yeah. reunion was on Capsule. Yeah. That was like the greatest thing ever, and the episode was directed by Jonathan Frakes. Exactly, exactly. Jonathan Frakes is actually directing an episode of Orville, and he's also directing an episode of Star Trek Discovery. Yeah, I, I well, saw that. He yeah, was, he so he's getting around. So yes, if that's any indication that you're going to see a whole lot of different, you know, people coming people back, familiar faces. Oh in, yeah, uh, yeah. It's 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 a given. It's a, definitely a given. So, so 
Daniel, any last words you'd like to say to the people on the internet and the world about? I, you know, one thing I would love to say is um, there's a lot of great stuff, sci-fi out there coming, and uh, be open to it, embrace it, have fun with it. Don't be too judgmental about anything. Enjoy the nerdism. Enjoy it this great time that we as, as fans, as geeks, as nerds have because we have some of the best technology, we have some, some great stories. Because the technology is caught up to the uh, dreams. Yeah, exactly. We can do anything now from film, TV, anything, even online. I mean, there's so much great stuff coming out and I'm excited to be a part of some things. I'm excited for the franchises that are continuing. I'm excited for a lot of the work that, that, that I've been able to do to contribute to that, um, especially Orville this fall on Fox. So check a lot of these things out and have an open mind and just have fun with it. I mean, it's a great time. Um, you can catch me. Um, I actually just launched my website, ricoanderson.com. And uh, please follow me on Twitter as well as Instagram. I am Rico Anderson. And um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you.